Flora Proactive. No other food lowers cholesterol more. Your heart normally beats 60 to 80 times a minute. This rhythm is controlled by a small bunch of cells near the top of the heart, and sometimes problems occur. This is where Dr. Razin Gopal and his speciality in cardiac electrophysiology become important. For the heart to beat, there needs to be a very regular, seamless flow of electricity through the cabling system of the heart. And when there is a fault or a defect, a defect along this electrical pathway, you can have a rhythm disturbance or an arrhythmia occurring. So the electrophysiological study, which is what we are performing, is to try, try and find out where that uh, defect is within the electrical pathway, and either by a process of radiofrequency ablation or alternatively cryoablation, which involves the use of very intense cold energy we're able to cause destruction of the housing or casing of the abnormal circuit. And in so doing, for the most part, we could cure the patient's uh, abnormal rhythm disturbance, or in other words, the arrhythmia. As an electrophysiologist, Dr. Gopal often performs what is called ablation procedures. These involve passing wires into the heart to deliver heat or cold energy to destroy tissue causing abnormal electrical pathways. Heart rhythms can become irregular for a number of reasons. You may have an abnormal uh, congenital defect, like an accessory pathway, which is an additional nerve bundle between the chambers, which should not be there. Or alternatively, you can have environmental factors, uh, for example, alcohol or hypertensive heart disease or rheumatic heart disease, which causes the patient to go into abnormal rhythms. Recently, Dr. Gopal unveiled a brand new procedure he has developed which is advancing the correction of abnormal heart rhythms. However, there are steps we can all take now to avoid requiring such procedures. For preventative measures uh, in terms of managing heart rhythm disturbances, naturally we would look at what the common reversible causes are. So in this particular patient who has atrial fibrillation, and we're going to now treat it with one of the latest forms of cryoablation technology, uh, if the patient were to have underlying hypertensive heart disease, the hypertension needs to be exquisitely controlled. If the patient's got obstructive sleep apnea, it's critical for them to have a sleep study so that we can reduce the chances of the patient dropping their oxygen levels. Naturally, if someone uh, takes too much alcohol or they, they, they use it in excess, this is something which can be stopped. So there are a number of reversible causes for heart rhythms which need to be addressed. Unfortunately, sometimes one is in a situation where an abnormal or absent heartbeat needs to be treated in a public place. Paramedic Rob DeVette of EMT explains the purpose of AEDs. So any emergency which causes the heart to go into a rhythm which is abnormal, or an arrhythmia as we call it, requires the intervention of an AED, generally used simultaneously with CPR. An AED is acronym for Automated External Defibrillator. It's a device we use in patients who suffer from life-threatening cardiac emergencies. So they automate it in that they will uh, um, automatically determine the nature of the emergency, the electrical uh, challenges that the patient is facing, and they will decide on whether or not to discharge. And there's no requirement for a person to interpret what kind of rhythm the patient is in. The machines do it automatically. Now, these devices are mainly found places where you have large gatherings of people like sports stadiums, health and fitness centers, places of public transport like train stations, bus stations, airports. They are displayed on the walls that they are there for public to access automatically without calling for any help. Everyone with the means and time should go for short course training in CPR and the use of an AED. Fortunately, these machines are so intelligent they also provide guidance when treating patients. Integrated AED into CPR. Look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Place pad exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to patient's bare skin. No one should touch the patient. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Make sure everyone's clear. Press the flashing button and discharge. Shock delivered. Shock delivered to the patient. Emergency medical services have been called. It is safe to touch the patient. CPR can come in handy at any point. It, it, you know, cardiac events aren't just for old people or frail people. Everyone should be involved some way or other in CPR, first aid training.
Flora Proactive. No other food lowers cholesterol more.